everybody this is your girl little bit out so today i wanted to um talk about a subject that um of course everyone talks about everyone you know seeks advice on and things like that i want to talk about marriage and relationships um this is just my opinion i'm not speaking for anyone else but from my life experience and things that i've noticed and friends and just people that i know period um I just don't get what's the point of you being in a relationship that you don't want to go anywhere. Like, you know, I don't understand the purpose of it because I would think when you get to date someone, when you get in a relationship with someone, you're getting to know them to establish something to, you know, to be boyfriend and girlfriend. And, you know, when you're in a relationship, you should want to take them next steps. You want to, you know, you want to see how that person is and see if that's someone that you can spend your life with. To me, I feel like it shouldn't take you years to figure that out. Like, I feel like the first year of you being with that person, you kind of figure out if you can see a future with them or not. That's my opinion. You know, I don't think it should take so many years to figure it out. The only reason why I feel like it would take some years is if you feel like the first year things are kind of rocky. You know, let me see over the years if that person would change. That's for males or female. But sometimes they do change, sometimes they don't. But you kind of have an idea where you want this relationship to go. I don't think it should be, you know, I don't think that people should get in relationships and the first thing they think about is having a baby. Like, I don't know, like, I just don't get that. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. You know, I'm not saying that people who are young or who already have kids and are not married or nothing like that. I'm not against any of that. But what I'm saying is that, you know, getting in a relationship with somebody Establish something concrete first before you decide to say, oh, yeah, I'm just going to have a child by him. That's, you know, that's the future. And then he's going to marry me. That's where you're wrong. Just because you have a child, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean that he's going to marry you or anything. That doesn't define that he's going to do that. You know, I just feel like, you know, people need to take their time in relationships, really get to know each other, really, you know, decide what they want to do. My One thing my grandmother always told me is that, you shouldn't have sex with anybody that you don't plan on having a baby by. That was what she said. And um, to be honest with you, that's kind of how I felt about it. You know, because she has a point. When you get in a relationship with somebody, you know, y'all getting it in, y'all using y'all protection. Some people stop in the midst of their relationship and they don't use protection anymore. So that, you know what I'm saying, you can get pregnant. So it's like, if you don't want this guy to be your baby father, then you shouldn't be having sex because sex can lead to pregnancy with condom, without a condom. You know, 99% condoms are, that 1%, there it is, you know. So, and even if you're on birth control, whatever the case may be, you know, my grandmother had a point on that. Um, you know, just don't settle. Just don't think because you have chi a child by anyone that that's, that just means that person's going to marry you. No. Also, um, I've never been that type of female to give anybody an ultimatum. I feel like you're making somebody do something that they don't want to do. Yes, I understand you and, you know, Bobby and been together 10, 15, 12, whatever he is. You chose to stay that long. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't feel like you should say, oh, I'm tired of playing house in a home. You know, you need to marry me. But think about it. He's not really marrying you because he wants to do it. He's marrying you because he feel like he's going to lose you because you're ready to call quits. But marriage should have maybe been a topic, you know, in your relationship. Just because you talk about marriage doesn't mean that that's something that you guys want to do. It's just to touch base on the subject to see where you guys mine is you know whether that person wants to get married whether they don't they want to have kids these are things that you should already had question about i'm not gonna say in the very beginning no because you might scare someone away but once i get kind of like six seven months in the relationships you need to slide that conversation in there or even not even that long whenever you feel like the relationship is really going to where y'all are getting serious slide that in there you know how do you feel about kids you know how do you feel about marriage because if you're a person that want to get married and have kids and later on down the line, six, seven years later, you know, he telling you, oh, I never wanted to have kids. I never want to get married. You don't waste all this time with this guy who don't even have the same goals as you. So you want to already, already establish what is the goals that you guys have for each other, you know. So also, let's touch base on this marriage subject. I am married. Yes, I am. I've been married for um, about eight months. So I just, you know, recently just got married. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm never going to get married. Marriage is so hard and all this. Teach is on. Everyone in marriage, everyone in relationship is definitely. 
you know every you know when you get married i mean it it feels different. It really does. I was that type of person who felt like, you know, once I get married, nothing's going to change about me. I'm going to still be the same person. You're going to change because your mind, your, your state of mind is going to be different. For example, say for example, if you know, you and your, your man arguing. Y'all getting into it. Y'all just boyfriend and girlfriend. Y'all arguing. Y'all getting into it. You can, you know, if you don't want to deal with you like, you know, whatever. Bye. You can leave. Get out my face. You know, let it go. And emerge. That's not going to work out. It's not no bye, leave me alone, get out of my face, we're broken up. It's no breakup. It's either divorce or be married. Either or, you know. So things are, your mind, your state of mind is definitely, you have to look at situations a little different. Um, when it comes to my marriage, um, a lot, not a lot, but some things have changed. Like, you know, I used to go out a lot, kind of slow that down, but I still go out. He still go out. We still enjoy our life. We still have a life outside of marriage, you know, like I still hang out with my friends. I still can live my life. I still can do this, do that. He can still do that, do that. But we also make sure we make time for each other and things of that sort. You know, I feel like it's no, it's no point of you getting married and your whole life is shut down. Oh, baby, no, you can't do this. You can't go nowhere. That's... That's not how marriage is. Like I said, teach is on everybody marriage is different. You know, some females get married and they don't want that man to do anything. You know, vice versa. Everyone is differently. Um, but I can say is that just because you're married should mean that your life should stop. Just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean your life should stop. You still should be able to, um, if you have a goal set, don't stop your goals because you got married or because your relationship. Your partner should be that pushing, should be your number one fan to help you do everything. You know, keep your goals, keep your, whatever you have going on for yourself, you keep it going. You don't stop that. And a lot of people do that. You get involved with somebody when you're by yourself, you're working, you're going to school, you're doing it, you don't have, you get a boyfriend that's like, you know what, put my life on hold. Let me take care of this with him. No, that's definitely is not what should happen. You know, in a marriage, you're going to have your issues and your problems. just like in a relationship. No one is perfect. You're going to go through things. But, you know what I'm saying? It, I feel like, you know, you go through things, but it's how you make it out of those things. You know, you just got to know that, you know, you got to know whether, whether or not your relationship is worth fighting for or if it's not worth fighting for. You know, I'm going to say females because we're the majority of the people that go through things. We seem to settle, settle for anything, you know, you want to go through some things you are, you know, most things are self-learned, like you have to go through it yourself to learn it, but stop settling, like if you know that this guy doesn't ever plan on marrying you, you know that you want to be married, you know this guy don't want any kids by you, you know this guy is cheating, you know this guy is doing this and that, whatever, but you still want to stay there, like, I mean, what do you want him to do? You're allowing him to do it. And it is, don't get me wrong, it is some guys out here, it is some great guys out here that they got a female that's cheating on them and doing them wrong and everything like that. You just have to stand up and know that you're worth it. Know that you don't have to deal with anything that you choose not to deal with. But, you know, like I said, don't let people tell you marriage is hard. Don't let people tell you being in a relationship is hard. It's each its own. Everybody is different. So my advice to you is that know that you're worth it. Know what to stand for. Know what to stand for. Know what your standards are. Know that no one is perfect. People are going to come with their flaws and all. That's, you know what I'm saying? People have to understand that no one's going to be perfect for you. You know, but don't settle. You know, have this conversation to know where this guy or girl is at. Know whether or not they want to have kids. Know if they want to have, um, to get married. You have to know these things. It's no point of you wasting your time with someone just because. And the ultimatum. I mean, if that's what you choose to do, that's fine. But I would rather God propose to me because he chose to rather than me telling him that he had to. So, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys comment. Also, don't forget, I'm open for all the suggestions. Let me know what type of videos you guys want me to make. I'm open for inbox me. And thanks all, thanks, thanks, thanks to all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And thanks for all my friends on YouTube. Anyway, in the meantime, deuces. I'll holler at you guys later.